Hugh Teller. I'm a dentist. Uh, I work primarily in Charlottesville, Virginia. I also work outside of between Fredericksburg and, and Culpeper, Virginia, uh, as a general dentist. But in the past year, I've been transitioning my practice to treating craniofacial pain, things like mm -hmm. TMJ, sleep apnea, headaches, uh, neuropathic pain, trigeminal neuralgias, things like that. Uh, and that's where I'm moving my practice towards. And how long have you been using Lumix or laser therapy? So I purchased it about a year ago, just a little less than a year ago, probably November of 2017. And what kind of results are you having with your patients? So as I've started using it more and more uh, and started incorporating it into my practice, what I've one of the main things that I found that it substituted, I used to do a lot of trigger point injections using anesthetic into muscles and, mm -hmm. and then ligament injections. And I found that the, the laser has replaced a lot of those injections. It's much easier to promote laser therapy than it is injection therapy. And I've involved my assistants in it, so I do less of that and more of the, the diagnostic and more of the stuff that really needs me and what I find when an assistant does the work, it's actually more pleasant for the patient because there's, it's just a more relaxed because the assistant is talking, there's mm -hmm. more. So it's, you know, one, it's, it's, it's a nicer treatment. It's a friendlier treatment for the patient. And then it also involves my staff in a way uh, that, that's helped my practice. In some cases, I've been able to treat people with quote unquote TMJ problems with, with almost no appliance therapy and at first I thought that was crazy but um, I have a couple patients where the appliance was a minimal part of the, the treatment and the laser was the biggest part of the treatment. It also helped them, the patient, become more aware of their own bodies oh, so they, they learn how to, to stretch and they learn how to, to deal with their muscles and they learn the, the, the issues that, that affect them more so it's been good that way. Okay. Um, yeah, for the patient especially.